Hey guys, Simcoder here, and today we are going to start on a new series in this channel, which will be on Twitter. This has been a highly requested series, so I thought to take the leap and to just do it. So, this will be a bit different because we won't be using React Native, uh, we'll be using Flutter. And I'm using Flutter because it seems like uh, the whole industry is going there. So, uh, if you go into Google Trends, for example, you see that Flutter has been gaining traction and passing React native in the past few years and the tendency seems to go even higher so that's one of the main reasons why i'm going with flutter it seems that most of you are interested in flutter flutter has some advantages which i talked about in the how to develop apps uh, guide the main advantage is that it has better performance uh, than react native it is still worse than native apps but it is a uh, basically the same uh, so you won't notice a big difference uh, it allows you to deploy in both ios and android which is awesome and recently they have been making great strides in order to uh, be able to deploy it in the web which is awesome uh, the main disadvantage of flutter is uh, that it uses a dart in my opinion i don't really like dart but uh, dart is a language developed by google and like flutter is as well uh, and it is specific to Flutter, so you can't like JavaScript just use it for a bunch of things like the back end, the front end, uh, whatever you want. Dart is specific to Flutter, and because of that, you have to learn a whole new language in order to develop for Flutter. Um, don't worry, Dart is generally speaking easy. It isn't like C or Assembly, whatever. Uh, you don't have to worry all that much about it. But yeah, in this series, I'll be taking you step by step on how to do things. So if you are not familiar with Dart, I'll make sure to make it as easy as possible for you to comprehend and learn uh, Dart uh, during this uh, series. For the database, storage and so on, for our, all our services, we'll be using Firebase. Again, Firebase may not be the best one for uh, this type of project. However, it is the easiest and the one that allows us to most uh, quickly deploy the project. So uh, we'll probably have to do some workarounds in order to get the data that we want. It will be more uh, processing heavy so that uh, because we have to make multiple queries and uh, gather all the data and then combine it together. So it isn't uh, as, as good as other uh, databases. Even Twitter uses multiple databases for different things but it is easy to comprehend and for a YouTube series I believe it is the best as with all the series uh, I'm going to be focusing on the logic of the project I won't be focusing on the design of it uh, per se I obviously will have the, the default designs that we have with flutter but I'm not going to tweak around a lot with the design for that we are going to you to have the redesign at the end of it just like we do for every other series this is because just designing front-end is not very interesting for a YouTube series. I believe logic is most it is much more important. So because of that, actually, I tend to focus a lot more on that part. Regarding how you can download the project, well, I'm going to have a repository on GitHub for this project specifically, and I'm going to have a branch uh, which I'll create for each and every single lesson that I do, so that you can easily go to the lesson that you're on at the moment and uh, download it and play around with it without uh, having to to know a lot about git and things like that so go to the the branches search for the lesson that you are on and there you go you have the code for that lesson if you have any questions then please do use the forum that we have at simcolor.com there you have a specific thread which you can uh, post your questions and I'll try to answer them as fast as possible so feel free to use it uh, also you can comment down below uh, if you have any question I'll try to answer it again as fast as possible but remember it is just me doing this YouTube channel so it may take a day or two if I have a lot of questions within my buffer so yeah the goals for this series is are quite simple we want to uh, have the basic features of Twitter this involves obviously creating an account, having a feed, having the ability to retweet, having the, the ability to like a tweet, uh, things like that. Uh, we won't do everything. That's one thing that I, I want to say. We are not going to build Twitter like it is. Remember, Twitter has a bunch of engineers working for it. So obviously we, we, we want to go to the extent that they do, uh, but we'll try to implement as much as possible and make it as simple as possible for you to comprehend. So that's it for today. Uh, this 
will be a wonderful series so yeah i hope you enjoy it thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss a single video of this series see you all tomorrow ciao